The Brink of Infinity, Season 2023 Cinematic League of Legends. See, the thing is, chat, the thing is, the game is dog shit. I know what you know, what everyone knows it. Yeah, the game is fucking dog shit. But they have one redeeming quality. Every single year, I'm considered, do I want to play this game? No, I do not want to play this game. But every single year, they're releasing an amazing cinematic, yeah. An amazing cinematic, which hypes me up to play that game. As people in the chat were saying that this cinematic is not so bueno. No. And I'm looking at the like to dislike ratio. 16k to 40k dislikes. Bro, it cannot be that bad, right? We had, the, what was the last cinematic? The Call, yeah, The Call. We had The Weekend, we had The Call. We had amazing cinematics, bro. No shot this one is bad. No fucking shot. Once again, I stand at the brink of infinity. That's... Nexus. That's a blue Nexus. These are two turrets. Okay, Edge. What lies beyond the shrouded path? A butterfly? Death? No. Nothing that simple. Yeah, we're leaving the base. Hold up. The best part of me will live on in the scars I leave behind. I do not fear the darkness. I will brave the shadows. Don't tell me we'll be just exploring the summoner's drift. This cannot be it. Trusting nothing but my strength. We're in the jungle. We're entering the river. I have found my limit a thousand yep. times. And still I press further. Bad and bitch. You see the last man alive. Please be chased down. Every mistake, a lesson. Now I will teach them to fear me. We're entering red base, bro. We have 30 seconds left. I will become what I must be. Why? Because I can. <laughs> really? Ah, <gasps> uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. This has to be a joke. Like objectively, yeah, objectively, this has to be a joke. We had the call. We had the warriors. We had the climb. We had the waken. And now what we have? These four were the fucking amazing cinematics. They had the hype music. Every single one of them, we were covering the lore, we are covering every single champion, we are covering the 3D shenanigans, bro. This was f***ing amazing. Yeah. Every single cinematic in the season was hyping me up to play this game again. Now, I'm considering, do I want to play this game? No, I do not. But then cinematic drops, and I'm back in, bro. But this... But this... I feel like they, they, they kind of forgot to inform the cinematic team that, guys, season is coming, we need a cinematic. I should, you know, you know what happened? Hold on, based on the cinematic, yeah. I have every mistake. I can. The entire fucking cinematic, bro. The entire f***ing cinematic is, the, is just... It's just a League of Legends, Summoner's Rift, with a mod. Bro, I mean, I have a Winter Rift, yeah? So someone created a, let's say, a slightly HD version of the Rift. And then they decided to, win, to go into the map and use the director's camera. There's a setting like that. That you, you can create 3D shots. When you see amazing League of Legends edits, when you see Zed doing the shadow shenanigans, jumping, throwing shurikens from, from, from the sky, that's created using a 3D League of Legends director's camera. 
I was playing around with that. It's quite easy to use. This is what they did. And the, the text in here, yeah? The words. Hold on. I have found my limit a thousand times. Found my limit a thousand times. That's something an AI typed in. You go to ChatGDP right now. You tell ChatGDP, look, I need a League of Legends cinematics, something motivational, something I'm struggling. Give me five paragraphs. And this is what we get. That, that's the text that we are reading in here. Bro. Look at this shit. Bro, we, we, had, we had a cinematic. We had a cinematic. That's a f cinematic. That's how you hype a season. Let's pretend no one saw the last cinematic. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just watch this one. Add music and they're hyping you up and the lore and you're exploring the champions. Actually exploring the story of what's happening in here. That is Jolani, that is the prime Darkin who was trying to control every single Darkin. But then shit went south. Oh my god. Giga Chen. This shot. My boy Pantheon, bro. Climbing the Mount of Target to become the aspect of war. Olaf and Sichuani for a failure fighting against the Bulgar fanatics. Defenders of the aspects. Banfield is a giga check, he doesn't need a weapon right now. The, vo the threat of the void in Shurima, bro. My god, bro. And the more music, bro. And the hype of the music. Without a weapon in here. Straight up with a shield on one hand. Soloing. Leona is going to defend that shit. Aspect of the Dawn. Because being humans are too easy. Let's, let's fight the Aspect. Now he's using a weapon. Okay, come at me, bro. Void is still a thing in Shurima. He's slapping the Aspect, bro. Boom, the gods themselves. The gods themselves enter the battle because they see that Leona is losing. But do you really think my boy Pantheon gives a f? Nah, brother. He was without weapon. He was. He fought the first way without weapons. Then he fought Leona with a sword. Now he's fighting a god. Bro, do you think that's a problem? But my boy Pantheon think that's a problem? Psh, no shot. Also shot in here of Sejuan using that is Cyrilda's grudge. To my knowledge, that is Cyrilda's weapon, which is a legendary weapon. So when it comes down to MMORPG, I'm not sure if we're gonna get this one, but this weapon is OP as f bro. Mommy bro. The brood mother. Sichuan is soloing everyone. And Giga Chabro, you want to fight gods, you become a god. Fuck them gods, bro. For the glory no, that's a cinematic. I want to slap Riot and tell them that's how we make a cinematic, you know? That's how we make a f***ing cinematic. And not this Dora the Explorer bullshit when we're exploring the Summoner's Rift, bro. 
We've been exploring similar zip of the past 15 years. What are you on about? God, the shit tilted me.